What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're out here on a Lake Ontario tributary targeting some steelhead and possibly some lake run brown trout once again. And today we're gonna be fishing at a hole pretty close to the mouth. It's not too far off from where the river really starts flowing and getting away from the, the marshy part of the, the mouth. And yeah, we're gonna start fishing. I'm gonna be throwing jigs today. I've got egg sacks that I'll probably just be tipping on the jigs. Um, I've got a few jerk baits, floating lures. Uh, you can't use any spinners or anything in here, so it's just gonna be jigs, floating lures, stuff like that, and we're gonna see if we can get on some some fish. It's gonna be a pretty warm day. I think it's like 40, right around 40 right now, maybe a little under, but I think it's getting up to maybe even 50, so it should be a pretty good day of fishing out here in, in February, so we'll see if we can get onto some fish. Let's get to it. All right, here we are. The creek's coming off of a of a little bit of a blowout uh, with all the, the snow melt and ice melt. So this is probably one of the best days condition-wise on this creek in, I'd say over a week. I've, I don't have too much experience fishing at this creek, so we're gonna be figuring out a lot of stuff out today. But we're here, I've just got my, my white jig with a pink jig head, an egg sack tipped on there. I think it's a, yeah, it's a trout, trout egg sack with pretty sure like nine or 10 little eggs in there. I think we might end up doing better today on the, uh, the jerk baits. We've got like two foot of visibility, but it's got a nice stain to the water. So it's not like crystal clear at all. It's got a nice stain. All right, guys, we're gonna head to another spot, a good bit upstream. And yeah, one good thing that we got from that was I saw a ton of bait fish, which means there should be brown trout and some other fish there and steelhead and all that coming in to eat it on those. So we just need to find the fish. I also think the jerk bait is gonna work better. I was gonna try it in that hole but there was, um, I was getting snags on my jig. So I kept walking out to get my snags out and then the hole kind of ended. So I was just like, yeah, if there was any fish, I probably spooked them. So we'll just go to the other spot. I'll try the jig there for like 10 minutes and I'll switch to a jerk bait, but we'll get right over there. Let's get to it. Fish on guys on the jerk bait. <clears throat> right, I cast it up here in the slow part. Fish on. I don't really know how I'm going to land this. I've got waders, but it's super deep right here. I was working this hole for only about five minutes. I've got the Yozuri Pins Minnow and the baby brown trout color, I think it's called. If I'm not mistaken, this is a brown trout. My tackle is too light to pull them upstream. <clears throat> That's at least a 25 inch. That's a nice brown trout. Oh, he just T-boned that thing. He's way up here upstream. Oh, if he goes downstream, that would not be good. There's just physically no way I could get down there. I've got a big old straight ledge right here and it just gets deep. All 
Alright. Might be able to get him right here. Guys, I had him. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Got the fish, guys. Ooh. Absolutely crank that brown trout, crank that brown trout jerk bait. All right, guys, here we go. It's about like a 20. It's a nice solid brown trout. I'd say 25 or so inches, female brown. Super healthy fish. Nailed the the brown trout uh, jerk bait. Yosemite pins minnow. There she goes. All right, guys, there's the lure. It's a Yosemite pins minnow in the brown trout colorway. Great bait. Should be a lot easier to land a fish if I get one up here. As long as I can keep it out of the, the tree below me. But brown, brown trout usually they don't tend to fight like that. A steelhead would probably end up going downstream on my light tackle. The browns seem to fight hard. Got one. Right away, guys. Right away, guys. Drags way too tight and loosened it up. That was quick. That was right away, guys. Oh no, he's already heading down there towards the log. As long as we can keep him up here, we'll be good. Chances are it's another, another big old brown trout. Oh yeah. We'll get the net out. It's coming up right here in front of me. All right, let's see what we can do here. Fish on, got it. Jerk bait popped right out, perfect. We'll get the jerk bait out before it hooks him in the side or something. All right, guys. Here we go. About the same size, but this one, I think the other one might have been spawned out. It's definitely a little bit thinner. 25, it's somewhere up in there. Big old brown trout. There she goes. Mine's just a teeny bit frayed, but I'm already scared because the fish are biting and there's lots of lots of cover in this creek, so I'm gonna I'm gonna retie the leader. Alright. We're gonna get back in there. That last cast I just made, the uh the line was wrapped up around the the rod tip, so it didn't really get out there. Pretty sure I just hit the bottom right there. I was working along the shore. I don't know how deep this hole is, but there's some fish in here. If 
Fish on. Second cast back in, guys. Guys, they're loaded. He is just head thrashing like crazy. Smallest one of the day, but still a great brown trout. Oh, I almost had him. There we go. All right, guys, hooks are all out. This is just a little, eh, it's like a 20 inch brown trout, I'd say. Somewhere right in there. He's just a, he's just flopping everywhere. I can barely, can't even grab him. There we go. There's the fish. Super pretty fish. We'll get him released. There he goes. Let's get back into it. I can walk pretty good in this area. Eh, pretty good for this creek. In a normal creek. No, this creek is terrible to walk in. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. That was insane. Oh, airborne brown. Oh, he's running downstream. Oh wow, he's a jumpy guy. Browns usually aren't aren't that jumpy. We should be able to get him in here. Oh, he's all type of all types of wrapped up up in here. Here we go. That guy got all to untangled. And one kind of strange thing that happened was when I was on doing the hook, he had the, my fluorocarbon wasn't, it had come undone, it broke. So I'm wondering if it broke when it got all wrapped up before I scooped it or if it broke on land. Kind of crazy, but yeah. There's that fish. About the same size as the last one. A little bit bigger though, I think. Good solid fish. There he goes. He darted off. That was probably the most airborne brown trout I've ever caught. I'm gonna get another cast up in here. While I was rigging up, um, I saw a fish jump downstream in the hole I got my first one at, so. We're gonna definitely be going over there in a second. Fish on. Fish on. First cast back in. Oh, wow. Come back down. Oh, he's swimming right at me. This is gonna be a, pretty sure this is another, one of the bigger, bigger sized ones. Oh, gosh. No, don't go out over there. Oh. There we go. That's another, that's a male brown. Nice colored up one. Alright guys, there's that brown, got a little kite action going on, male brown trout. I think some of the other ones are brown, or male browns too, but I wasn't paying attention too much, but this one's obviously a big old male brown trout. Not, not a giant, but super solid fish, probably 20, 20 or so inches, but Got some meat on him. 
There he goes. Ooh, that was a real silvery fish. There we go. That was a good hook set. I might have seen pink. A steelhead would be cool. There's a there's like at least five fish in there. I thought I saw pink. Probably a brown, but steelhead would be. Yeah, it's a, pretty sure it's a brown. There we go. Another cookie cutter from today at least. Cookie cutter size compared to the big ones I got. Get a release. There it goes. Yeah, they definitely got a little scared after their buddy got the jerk bait to the face. Alright. Again, don't have time, so I'm gonna keep going upstream. Probably stop again really quick and see if I can get one, but. We're gonna be heading out of here. Fish on. It's all shallow up here and gets deep right. Right here in front of me. We might be able to get in there real fast. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching up to the end of this video here. I wasn't able to film the outro out there, but I've got it right here. I just finished editing up the video and yeah, it was an amazing day of fishing. Could have asked for anything better than that. I was actually my only, I think my third time fishing on that creek and my first time in that way with uh, the jigs and that, that jerk bait I was throwing for the majority of the time and I got all the fish on. So it was a really great day. Ended with seven brown trout, two that were over 25 inches for sure. And then a bunch of other solid fish that were all great lake run, Lake Ontario run brown trout. So I hope you guys liked the video. We post more videos uh, just about every week, sometimes two a week, sometimes it might just be one, but I'll have videos flowing in here. And yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a like. If you guys have any questions about fishing, comment down below and subscribe if you want to see some more content. Thanks for watching guys and tight lines. Take care.